Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss some problems or examples regarding elimination reaction. The first problem is on bromination, the dibromide X, that is the first molecule. From this, we are getting trans product, that is trans alkyl. But from the dibromide Y, we are getting cis alkyl. Both are bromide, uh, dibromide. But what is the difference? In the first case, you can see there are two methyl groups. But in the second molecule, there are two hydrogen. That is the only uh, difference. Rest of the portion is as it is. Now, the molecule, these two molecules are given in Fischer projection. We will change it to sawhorse. Now, in X, both the bromine atoms are attached to secondary carbon atom. But in case of Y, both the bromine atoms are attached to primary carbon atoms. So, in the second molecule, these two carbon are primary. But in the first molecule, these two carbons are secondary. So, the first molecule, if we uh, write the molecule in sawhorse, just rotate the front carbon. So, why we are rotating it? So, that the two bromine atoms are now trans to each other. So, here we are using Ki, potassium iodide. I minus, it will act as base. It will attack the Br, forming IBr. There will be generation of new CC bond and this CBr bond will be broken. Fine. So, finally, we are getting trans product. Why? Because these two methyl groups, they are trans to each other. Now, for the next molecule, Again, if we draw the sawhorse, here this is a sawhorse. Again, we will rotate it so that we get the two bromine atoms trans to each other. But unlike the previous case, where E2 elimination is taking place, here you can see I minus is attacking here from the opposite side of the CBR bond that is inversion is taking place. So, this is SN2, not E2. Now, why here we are not uh, getting E2 mechanism? Why we are getting SN2? Because these two carbon atoms are primary. So, that is the reason that uh, unlike the first case, where we are getting E2 mechanism because it is secondary carbon. In this case, in the second molecule, first step is SN2 reaction. So, after the first substitution by SN2 mechanism, we are getting this new product. Now, if we change it to this, how? Again, you have to rotate it. Why we are rotating it? So that we get I and B are in trans to each other. Now, in the medium, there is I minus. So, I minus will attack this iodine atom. You will get a new CC bond here and bromine will be removed. Now, in this conformation, see these two D atoms, they are, they are on the same side. So, that is why our product is cis, cis alkyl. So, in the first case, only E2 is taking place. But in the second molecule, first there is SN2 and then there is another E2. So, that is the difference between these two molecules. That is the mechanism they are going through. Okay. Let's go to the next problem. Why the following stereoisomeric dibromides, they are giving elimination products, different elimination products. So, the first molecule is Z, the second one is E. Why? Because Br and H, they are on the opposite side and uh, this propyl group, they are also on the opposite side. In the second case, the propyl groups, they are on the same side. So, from the first case, we are getting Z product. But in the second case, we are completely getting a different types of product, which is aline. Okay. So, in the Z isomer, that is the first isomer, the hydrogen and bromine, they are already in trans arrangement. They are already fulfilling the requirement of E2 mechanism. That is the ideal geometry for E2. So, that is why it will be simply the removal of this Two. It is very simple to understand. So, you are getting uh, CC triple bond. But what is the difference in case of the second molecule, which is the E isomer? Now, the vinylic hydrogen, that is this hydrogen is vinylic hydrogen. This is CIS to Br. But the allylic hydrogen, that is this hydrogen, I am just giving a star mark in this carbon so that you can understand. 
in you can easily recognize which carbon is actually uh, this after the mechanism how it is changing its position so vinylic hydrogen is cis2 bromine but allylic hydrogen it can easily adopt the preferred trans coplanar arrangement so that is the reason we are getting different product so the molecule if you draw in a different way this is again the star mark carbon there are actually two hydrogen so any of the hydrogen can act as the hydrogen which is to be removed so this ch bond will be broken you will get a new cc bond here and this cbr bond that will also be broken so finally we are getting aline okay so this is the difference next problem so here we have to predict the products the molecules are already given reaction conditions are already given and we also have to include stereochemistry if it is applicable so first look at the first molecule it is 1,4 uh, dibromocyclohexane now it is a trans 1,4 dibromocyclohexane trans we know that uh, both the groups it may be equatorial or both the groups may be uh, axial now obviously the equatorial conformation that is more stable and the molecule is already given in the equatorial form fine suppose in the question it is the molecule the picture of the molecule is not given it is simply written that the trans 1,4 dibromocyclohexane uh, when it is treated with zinc then what you will expect so in that case you have to draw the molecule where both the bromine atoms in equatorial form okay but here it is already given so let's see what is the mechanism going on here so zinc here it is acting as reducing agent it is first attacking the bromine so this is the one position this is the four position one four dibromo substituted so this cbr bond will be broken at one and two there will be formation of new cc bond this two three bond it will be clipped and at 3 4 position you will get another new double bond and this cbr bond will also be broken so this is a fragmentation type of reaction and don't try to compare the numbering of the carbon of this molecule and this molecule because we have given the numbering according to the nomenclature so 3 4 carbon is now becoming 6 5 carbon uh, this one two is now the one is here and two is here so this is hexa 1 5 diene okay according to the nomenclature and the byproduct is ZnBr2 so this is a fragmentation reaction where CC bond is broken and two new CC double bond we are getting and two CBR bonds are broken now come to the next molecule this is a sodium salt of carboxylic acid we are simply providing heat nothing else so what will happen in this case again I am saying suppose the molecule picture of the molecule is not given uh, that is the name of the molecule is given then what you have to do you have to draw the molecule in proper way in proper orientation uh, which is fulfilling the requirement of the mechanism then only we can draw the mechanism so if we look at the mechanism here here I have extended this portion that is the CO2NA just write in this way COONA that is a full CO bond is written here now the O minus charge the negative charge over oxygen it is making a CO double bond here and this CC bond will be broken and you will get a new bond here so finally we are getting alkyne so here this mechanism is actually going through decarboxylative elimination because CO2 molecule is removed and this Na and this uh, Br minus together it will make sodium salt NABR sodium bromide okay so this is the mechanism the next molecule is cyclic molecule cyclobutane and there are two OH groups also attached both are equivalent right so when you are providing H plus acidic condition any of the OH can be protonated so when the first OH group is protonated this uh, the two will act as leaving group this CBR bond will be broken this CC bond will also be broken and you will get a new CC bond here and 
the lone pair over oxygen it will make a double bond here so basically we are getting two double bond one is cc double bond another one is co double bond and there will be positive charge over oxygen so removal of h2o because this group will be removed so what is happening next so this is our newly generated cc bond and co double bond but oxygen is positively charged so finally it will be neutral how it will be neutral by the removal of a proton okay so finally what we are getting alpha beta gamma so this is beta gamma unsaturated aldehyde and uh, for this type of molecule if you are having any trouble that is when you are switching from this arrangement to this it is always better my suggestion will be just put numbers here one two three four so that you can uh, easily understand how the carbons uh, when you are changing the orientation of the molecule this is four three sorry this is four three this is two and this is one okay so these are the mechanisms next problem 2 bromo 1 phenyl propane that is this molecule 2 bromo 1 phenyl propane 1 2 3 sorry the numbering will be starting here this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so 1 uh, 2 bromo 1 phenyl propane the reaction condition is sodium ethoxide in presence of ethanol it is giving exclusively one phenyl propane so which one is one phenyl propane this molecule and one phenyl propane there are two possibilities one is cis which is um, better i should call it z which is minor and the major major is e but we are not getting three phenyl propane so this is the exclusive product we are not getting it so there are actually two questions First of all, it is giving exclusively one phenyl propane and the trans isomer of the one phenyl propane is predominating over the cis isomer. So we have to solve both the problems. First, we have to know why we are, we are getting one phenyl propane only. So this is two, one, two and three phenyl propane means now the numbering will start from here, two and three. So this is three phenyl propane, but we are not getting it. So why we are not getting it? If you compare the uh, C, sorry, three phenyl propane with one phenyl propane, the transition state containing neutral living group. So here our living group is Br. If it is going through E2, then it should have considerable double bond character in the transition state. And the phenyl group, it can stabilize the double bond that is a partially formed double bond that can be stabilized by the phenyl group through conjugation in the transition state because E2 is concerted process there is a single transition state so in the transition state if the double bond character is generating considerable double bond character is present so obviously uh, that will be stabilized by phenyl but in the first case that is 3 phenyl propane the double bond is far from phenyl so conjugation is not possible so as conjugation is possible only in case of one phenyl propane so that is why we are getting it fine so this is the reason why we are getting exclusively the one phenyl propane but not the first one now the next question is why we are getting e as major and z as minor now you may say that e is stable so that is why we are getting major but though that is true but in this case and that is matching also uh, according to that logic but that may not be the case always though it is happening in this case that is the major we know that e is normally stable stabler compared to z and here also we are getting that so that may be the reason but actually the process is not so simple because in some cases maybe z you are getting as a major so that is why uh, the detailed mechanism we have to know so what we will do we will write the molecule in Newman projection because in Newman projection it will be convenient for us to understand what is actually going on. So if I draw the molecule 2 bromo 1 phenyl propane in Newman, two Newman arrangements are possible. So suppose 
the front carbon is 2 carbon that is the carbon with uh, the bromine atom is already attached and the back carbon is 1 carbon because with 1 carbon phenyl group is attached. So with 2 carbon we have 1 bromine substituents, 1 methyl and 1 hydrogen and the back carbon there are uh, 2 hydrogen and 1 phenyl. So 2 hydrogen I have written in uh, green color and pink color and pH group is there. So in the first arrangement this hydrogen it is in anti periplanar arrangement with the bromine so this cbr bond will be broken this sorry ch bond will be broken this cbr bond will be broken so we will get the alkene which is z right so it is z because ch3 and ph uh, both are on the same side see this is actually this product fine but why we are getting it as minor? Because of the steric repulsion between these two groups. But now just rotate the back carbon in this direction. So now the pink hydrogen, it is in anti-periplanar arrangement with the bromine atom. So this CH bond will be broken and this CBR bond will be broken. Now there is no such steric repulsion between the methyl group and the phenyl group. They are far from each other. So the product that you are getting that is actually this one which is major that is the E alkene okay so these uh, are the mechanism different types of mechanism uh, one we are getting uh, that is to understand the mechanism first you have to draw the molecule in Newman and uh, you can easily understand that when you are moving the back carbon in two arrangement in first arrangement there is repulsion between methyl group and phenyl group and from that arrangement the product alkene that you will get that will be minor and from the second arrangement which is energetically uh, stabler from that you will get the major product which is E. Okay so today we have discussed total six problems regarding elimination. I hope now you have some clarity how to solve uh, problems on elimination reactions. If you find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your time and uh, I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.